Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for April 16th through the 22nd. This is for the sign of Taurus. We're going to get one of these, then we're going to get another oracle card, and we will reveal these at the end. I don't know, maybe we should reveal them now. What do you think? I don't know. I think, well, maybe we'll reveal, we'll reveal them whenever I feel like revealing them. Um, this is for the sign of Taurus. I think we will reveal it at the end. We'll get one of these as well. My readings are love readings. Well, this one wants to be revealed right now. So we're going to go ahead and reveal it. It says, believe. The force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success over failure, and above all, who you are, is the power of your belief. Believe believe and you know how often I, I tell you guys to believe I'm always telling people to believe you have to believe you have to believe in yourself you have to believe in the divine well and for some reason I was called to use this deck I had put it back in his box in its box some time ago but for some reason today I've been called to use this deck. Look at that. Can you see it? I mean, can you see that shit? They're standing, on, there's two cards right there standing on their side. Look at that shit. <laughs> I don't know. Something is going on. I mean, that's crazy. Ooh, okay. Woo! So, there is some sort of forward movement, okay? Something is happening that is changing your life, okay? And maybe you've been resisting it. You never know with that Wheel of Fortune being reversed. It's like somebody has been through a run of bad luck. But now, perhaps that bad luck is over. You know, and they're going through a transformation. Somebody is releasing something, all right? Uh, maybe they're releasing control because that Wheel of Fortune is about clinging to the control or clinging to the past or wanting to be in control of a situation. But with that death card, it's releasing. So perhaps somebody is releasing control. Doesn't not I'm not going to try to control destiny anymore. I'm going to believe that whatever is right will come to me at the right time. Yeah, somebody has probably... given up on a situation. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody is letting go. Maybe somebody's even feeling weak at this time. You could be dealing with a father figure or a man that is very authoritative, controlling. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's, this is a feeling of, of uh, this is a week of control issues. Letting go of control. Maybe you've been manipulated and somebody has stolen your self-esteem and your self-worth. There's a feeling of a lack of pride here.
Yeah. Somebody is giving up on a situation. They are. They're moving forward. I'm, I let go. I let go. I totally let go of this. Somebody is going through some major changes right now because they have went through some sort of, it almost feels like, I've been trying to control this situation for so long and it hasn't worked out for me. I've put given it my best shot. I've put a lot of work and energy into getting something and it hasn't worked out. And now I've come to this realization that I can't control destiny. So I'm going to have to let go of this. I now realize that there's no more stability wherever I was. Whatever was happening, it wasn't stable. It wasn't secure. Somebody has lost their concentration, they've lost their focus, and they've lost their will to fight for something. But it's good because you're going down a new path. Because wherever you were that you were trying to control wasn't stable. It wasn't fulfilling. And it feels like you're headed towards some sort of new contentment that brings out, <laughs> okay, there is some sort of contentment or gathering that you are going to go to you know I know I'm changing focus here but this is what I have to say what comes to my mind something is happening that opens your eyes okay the truth is going to come out somebody has been telling some secrets or not telling some secrets holding some secrets they have been keeping some secrets or maybe it's even you that hasn't been listening to your inner guide and now you are wanting to bring some sort of contentment to your life Okay, and what, what's I feel like what is going to happen is that there is going to be some sort of gathering that you go to where you maybe you hear the truth or you see the truth of a, of a situation. Okay, I think that you are going to receive some sort of truth. That opens your eyes. And asks you to give up on a situation. And I know that's hard to explain. But it's hard for me to explain. But it looks like somebody is letting go of something. That allows them to go on a new journey that they have been avoiding. <laughs> okay. Somebody has been avoiding this new path. Wanting it to come, wanting the past to, wanting to control the path, wanting to control the past, wanting to control what's going to happen next. And I feel like you've come to the conclusion that this is out of my control. I can't control it. I can't manipulate the situation any longer. I can't. And I feel this comes about when, when you're out and about. I think that you will be out and about and you'll come to this realization and I know that's hard to understand, but I feel like you guys are going to go out to some sort of event or gathering or it could even be a family gathering, okay, where you're just going to have dinner with your family members and there's some conversation that is had or something happens that clicks and makes you realize that I've been wasting my time. I've been holding on to something. I, this is a, life is, cannot be controlled. Destiny cannot be controlled. I feel like there is some sort of reunion that is on the horizon that brings out some sort of truth. And I know that I'm, I'm having a really hard time explaining it, but I really feel like something is happening that changes your life this week. Okay, there's like a life altering almost event. Okay, whether it's just, I don't know what, maybe it's even an epiphany. I don't know. Something is happening that changes your course. 
And maybe, maybe whatever happens, it's forcing a change that you've been trying to avoid. And that's what it looks like to me. I feel like, you know, there's there's something that you can't avoid that's happening. You know, there's something that's ending, okay? Because this is the death of an idea. It's it's like a, you've reached a dead end wherever you've been holding on to. You've reached a dead end. It's not, whatever it has, you've been holding on to is not going anywhere. And you come to that realization, okay? Four, okay. Four, four, four. We have all these fours. Fours are about the angels. It's like the angels are around. They're trying to guide you. Are you listening to them? It's an angelic number when you see 444. It's like you're receiving angelic guidance at this time. Are you really listening? Maybe that's where the message comes from. Maybe all of a sudden you receive the message. You see the sign that you, it's time to move on. That could be the case. I feel like whatever is happening, there's been a lot of mental conflict, a lot of back and forth. And, you know, we have two reversed fours. One is upright. I feel, or actually, we have another four here. So four, 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 four. We have four, four fours. Okay. So fours are about foundations. And three of them are reversed. Wherever you, whoever or whatever you were hanging on to, the foundation was not strong. It was not stable. It wasn't concrete. And I feel like that something is going to happen that makes you realize that there was no stability there. There was no um, st stability. Okay. Hold on one second. Whatever's happening, there is universal protection. And I know that you... <laughs> You know, this is very confusing. It's very confusing to me as well. I think it's a confusing week because I think things are happening that you didn't expect. There is something that is happening that is unexpected, and I really feel that way. I feel as though you have given a lot of energy, and it. You actually, you know, what's happened here is I feel like you have allowed a lot of your energy to be drained you allow a lot of your energy to be drained on a situation that is going nowhere. And I feel like you something happens that changes your perception and makes you realize that that was a dead end. I seriously have to accept the truth of this situation. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries is pretty prominent here. We have Aries here, Aries here, and Aries here. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. But Aries is here three times. You could be dealing with an Aries. I feel like whatever's happening is pushing you to start a new journey, a new life. Okay? With the Death card and the Fool card. Now, this is divinely guided. It really is. Somebody has been fighting fate fighting destiny, trying to control their future, you know, and we all go through periods of doing that. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of event that happens that opens your eyes and makes you realize that it's time for me to take a risk and move on and start a new life. And I don't know what this is. I feel like somebody watching this is about to um, go down a whole new path after they have been physically, emotionally, and mentally drained. They have been through a period of oh, I can't even think of the word. My mind has gone blank of being sucked dry. That's what I'm thinking. You know, I've I've my my I've been sucked dry. I've lost all of my drive. And I feel like the universe is saying, you know what? No more. No more. It's time for you to get yourself back to where you need to be. So I think they're going to throw some sort of... Truth your way, okay? Truth. Yeah, it's, it's some whatever is happening, you've been wasting your time, wasting your time on something. And now you're being called to head in a different direction to get on your horse and trot on out of this situation that was going nowhere. 
So I feel like there's definitely a transformation here because we have the death card and we have the chariot here. Somebody is going through a major life transformation, big, huge changes that are unavoidable that somebody has been trying to avoid. Yes, I feel like there's been some sort of um, difficulty that has been holding you back. And I feel like this is the week that the universe says you can't control this. It's out of your control. Whatever has happened was meant to be. And... Going backwards is not going to serve you. So I feel as though you may feel a little chaotic over this big change that is happening. You know, because right now, I feel like you may even, this may be a very emotional week, put it that way. Because things are happening. Things are being released that you may not want to release, Taurus. Something is being released that you have been holding on to that has been holding you back. But it has been mentally draining you, mentally, physically, emotionally draining you. And perhaps this is the week where the universe steps in and says, you know what? All right, it's really seriously time for you to let go of this weakness that has been holding you back and move on. I feel like you guys have been wasting your time on a situation and it's time to become really clear of what you want. And maybe this is the week where you finally do become clear of what you want. You know, I feel like you are being called to live in the moment, not in the past. Don't live in the past. You are being called to get on your chariot and get the hell out of the situation that isn't going nowhere. Many of you that are watching this are going through a transformation that you have probably been trying to avoid. But you are being called to take a risk, be impulsive, and don't try to control it. Let these changes happen as they come. You may be going to some sort of gathering, like I said, that opens your eyes. And that can happen. Somebody, All somebody has to say is one thing. Or one thing has to happen. Maybe you see something happen that opens your eyes. You never know. There's all kinds of things that can happen that trigger a change. And I feel like there is going to be some sort of trigger this week that pushes you in a different direction. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's asking you to look at things from a new perspective. I think something is suddenly going to happen. There's going to be a sudden thing, like I said, that happens that really opens your eyes and asks you to, or, or pushes you, or allows you, or makes you see things through different eyes. Some kind of truth, I believe, with this and this is going to come out. A secret is going to come out, or some something is going to happen that really wakes you up and I think it's going to happen very suddenly because you have been undecisive about where you're going what you're doing and you have been letting your self-esteem your low self-esteem and your low self-confidence hold you back okay so I feel as though something the universe is going to throw some sort of you know Shake up, awakening, epiphany, thought, thing, whatever it is, into the mix that opens your eyes to a new perspective. And it's going to happen suddenly. I think it's going to happen suddenly. Because at present, you have been emotionally unavailable.
and they want you to remove those obstacles, remove the obstacle that is causing you to be emotionally unavailable so that new love can come in. The obstacle that is holding you back from allowing new love to come in needs to be removed. So I feel as though the universe is going to bring about some sort of event, awakening, whatever. I'm not going to go through it again. I already said it. That opens your eyes. But the fact of the matter is, Taurus, is you have to believe. Like this card said, do you believe? Do you believe in the universe? Do you believe in divine timing? Do you believe that everything happens for a reason? Do you believe in yourself? Because wherever you've been, you've lost some of your belief. You've lost some of yourself, I can see, with the strength card reversed. It's time to start believing again. Start, start believing in yourself. Start believing in the divine. Start believing, period. It's time to make yourself emotionally available. And in order for you to do that, you have to let go of the need to control and let go of the obstacles that hold you back. The force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible, the difference between success over failure, and above all, who you are is the power of your belief. Do you believe in yourself, Taurus? That's what this week is about. Do you believe in the divine? Do you believe? Are you ready for this one? I am. Ooh. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Remember I said the angels, they, they're giving you signs right now? Pay attention. Right now, this week, the angels are around. They are. And they're giving you signs. Okay, they're giving you signs. Listen, pay attention. Do you believe? Something is happening that changes your life. And it's out of your control. So Taurus, I believe that we have somebody from your past here, which I didn't mention with the Six of Cups. Somebody from your past that you are either really holding on to that needs to go, okay? Or somebody that you are going to meet at an event that you go to, okay? Because we have an event here, a gathering that with this next to the Six of Cups. Okay, because it can go multiple ways. There could be somebody that, you know, would like to come into your life or that you might have known before but you may not be emotionally available to them and you are being called to have faith and let yourself be open to new love perhaps with this person now when I say somebody from the past this doesn't mean somebody that you've been with before this can be somebody that you knew when you were a child somebody that you were just an acquaintance with or somebody that you didn't know but you just feel very familiar with okay so I feel as though you may have an opportunity for new love this week if you are able to let somebody in and stop trying to control destiny. It's out of your control. What is meant to be is meant to be and what isn't meant to be isn't meant to be. Somebody has been trying to control 
what they are not supposed to control. And I think it's because they have been controlled. There's a lot of control here. There is. Somebody has lost their inner strength. It's like it's been stolen from them. So anyway, I feel like for whatever is going on in your life this week is asking you to take a risk, open your heart, and let somebody else in. Or let somebody in. If you are in a relationship now, there could be some sort of reconciliation. You know, maybe there's been some sort of power struggles between you and your partner. And perhaps this is the week where you reconcile and you let go of the need to control and you just go with the flow. Whatever is going on here, I think that, that some, there's going to be a sudden change that changes your life. And perhaps brings love right back in. If you're open to it. Look at things from a new perspective. The old perspective wasn't working. So I feel as though something is... happening that is out of your control and that's all I'm going to say now I'm done talk to you later